Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through this look step-by-step. Step. This is my go-to everyday glam sort of look that I tend to gravitate towards lately. I don't wear makeup every single day, but the days that I do, if I'm having to get ready for a video or to go somewhere, this is kind of just like what I end up going for. Um, it does change a little bit from time to time depending on what I'm doing or what I'm in the mood for. You can definitely tone this down with the lip and the eyes or vice versa. You can add lashes. You don't have to have lashes. It's very customizable and it's only three eyeshadow shades and you can totally get away with just one or two if you wanted to, but I thought I'd walk you through it step by step. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to use a face primer. When it's my everyday look, I kind of just alternate the primer. Lately, I've been using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is one of my favorites. It's a good primer for oily skin, I feel. As long as something isn't too insanely hydrating um, as far as primer goes. It tends to work with my skin. I don't notice anything too crazy. I do think that this is one of the primers that does make the biggest impact, but again, it's subtle. I feel like there's only so much you can do with primers. And then for foundation, I've really been loving the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I love this foundation. I have the shade LM9. I like the formula of this because it's very thin. I can honestly just use this with my fingers if I really wanted to. I always just apply stuff with my brush. This is the It Cosmetics Number no. 7 brush. And lately I've just been popping it on the brush like that and then going in and buffing it in. I like this because it's just that nice medium coverage foundation. It's not too full. It's just a good everyday foundation. It is bougie. I went to go link it the other day and I realized the price. It's been like two years since I bought this. So I totally forgot. I mean, I am getting my money's worth out of it because I use it so much. But yeah, I just think it gives a very beautiful finish to the skin. It just kind of looks like your skin, but better. I feel so bloated today because last week Ruben and I went to Wisconsin for the week and we just made a big pot of chili and that's pretty much all we ate and then I had some chips and stuff so my body just like poofed up and is like really swollen right now because there's a lot of like I can't eat beans without swelling up. I can't eat just a lot of certain foods without my body just reacting in a negative way. My body's just like calming down from all of that last week. I don't have any self tanner on right now. This is like as fair as I will get. So I'm just bringing this down my neck so everything matches. For concealer, I'm gonna use the one that matches the foundation. This is the one from Pat McGrath. The Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting whatever. Just realized I kickboxed today for the first time in like two weeks. And you can see I've got like marks on my fingers. I haven't had that in a while. Okay, I'm gonna bring this underneath my eyes and then I've got some blemishes so I'm going to cover up those grab my Sigma brush and just blend them in so now that I'm all concealed lately I've been going in with the Chanel cream bronzer I just really like it I like the formula I feel like it goes on really nicely I do have the I think it's their lightest one but I would like to maybe try a little bit darker just to see because this does go more of that like yellowy kind of color and I've really been liking this Smith brush it's the Smith 157 it's kind of just like a kabuki kind of style feel to it where it's like it's really dense but it's angled it's not like rounded or anything so it's like the perfect little shape to get in there so I'm just gonna pick this up on this brush and I'm gonna go a little bit higher and keep it so that that lowest part of the brush is right where I want the lowest part of my contour so I'm just kind of stippling this on the face and as far as like my everyday look I won't use this every single day but I have been using it lately and it is a nice quick product to whip on and look really natural so bring it on the temples here and then kind of blend it out on the forehead. If you want this area to be brighter and a little bit more lifted, you don't wanna put darkness here, but I like to keep everything more closed in right there. So that's why I put that there. I'm just blending it in on the forehead. And I'm gonna bring it down on the jawline. So now that I've got that on, that's just kind of like 
just a little bit of warmth and just a little base for any other contouring. Um, anytime I'm feeling more bloated, I definitely go in with more contour. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm just using my foundation brush just to go over the edges so I don't have any like harsh lines or anything. But yeah, I just really like that color, especially when I am more fair like right now. I think it works really well with my skin tone. It's not too dramatic. You guys know I love using bronzer and contour and stuff like that. So I do like that this is a little bit softer. It kind of prevents me from going too over board even though I'm gonna go in with more product. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just set my oily areas. So right here is where I get the most oily right on the front of the cheek. Just like that. The forehead and in between the brows. Go over the brows and then we're nice and powdered. I've been really loving the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. This gives a really nice natural bronze and contour shade for my skin tone. I'm gonna use my contour brush. This is the Smith 112. I'm just gonna pick it up on this and start just intensifying the contour. And I can go in a little bit more of a broad area with this because this works for bronzing and contouring. So I am just going in that angle, doing the sides. And then I always kind of bring it up a little bit just to kind of blend. Once a lot of the product is off the brush just because I don't want a stark contour and then like my white ass face. So I kind of just blend that line as much as I can without like totally erasing what I did. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Highlighter. I have also been using this for contour too. Sometimes I won't use Hoola, I'll go in with this. Yeah, this is one of my favorite highlighter shades because it's the perfect neutral like it's not too icy it's not too golden for my skin tone but you can apply it in a more light-handed way so it looks just a little bit more like a glow from within or you can really pack it on and intensify the glow really really nice so i'm just popping this on the cheekbones and then down the nose here with my finger I'll do the cupid's bow with my finger and then i'll keep this nearby because when i do my eye look i'm going to use my face highlighter to highlight the eye look for blush i've just been using the kvd vegan beauty honeysuckle blush i've been using this like crazy it's the perfect like neutral peachy brown it's just beautiful. I'm going to use my Sigma F40. Just apply this on the cheeks. And I did the highlighter underneath because then it kind of like pokes through the blush and looks really, really natural. I'm going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Spray my face with it. Now it's time for my eyebrows. So I'm first gonna start with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in shade number three, just to map it out at first. I'm gonna fill it in the majority of the way with this because it is a lighter shade. It'll be easier to intensify. So I'm gonna start with this first. So now that I got that filled in, I think that looks pretty good. I do wanna deepen it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use one of these Too Faced pomade pencils in soft brown. So I'm gonna run through this just to give a little bit more depth to my brows, primarily on the outer part. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced brow wig. This is in the color medium brown. And I'm gonna wipe off quite a bit of it because I don't wanna apply like too much. Bring this through the brow. And this actually has like little hair fibers on it. So it almost gives you like a brow extension. It's very, very fascinating, but it will help to make your brows look extra, extra fluffy. Brows are done, face is done. Time to move on to the eyes. I'm gonna use the Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. This has just been my go-to lately. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this and just start blending that in. You only need a teeny tiny bit. I do have this in the shade medium. Yes, medium. I can't believe that's the shade I have, unless they accidentally sent me the wrong shade, just because I feel like that's still so light. Setting them with just a little bit of powder, just whatever's left over on this brush, actually. And then we can move into eyeshadow. So lately, I've been doing a little bit more than usual. Normally, I'll just like use a bronzer for an everyday look. But lately, I've been going a little bit more glam and using eyeshadow. I've been grabbing my Makeup Geek eyeshadows like crazy. So first I'm gonna go into Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. Don't forget, I do have my discount code. I'm an affiliate with them, so if you use it, I will get compensated, but it's just Brianna Fox for 10% off. So I really like mixing warm and cool shades together. You'll see that as I go on, but I'm gonna start with the Creme Brulee shade, and this is just gonna go pretty much all over the eye. Start down here on the lid, 
and then just start working it into the crease. You could honestly do this without a mirror. It's so easy. Okay, I'm switching my brush just to something else that's clean because that one needs to be washed and it's like hurting my eye. So yeah, I just lay down the color first and then start bringing it into the crease. This is a really great neutral for my skin tone. Yeah, like almost looks like I'm not wearing anything, but almost gives like a bronzer look to the eyes. So I can actually carry this into the nose over here. I love when everything is very cohesive like that and like works together. And then carry it underneath. Then I'm gonna go into Cheetah Bear from Makeup Geek. This is a little bit warmer. You can see the difference between the first color that we used. So I'm just gonna use that same brush and very lightly start feathering this onto the outer corner. This is a very warm shade and I love mixing warm and cool tone shades together. I feel like that's just kind of lacking in the industry, I feel like there's not a lot of warm and cool palettes mixed together. And that's typically how I like to do my makeup is mixing those two together. I think it works maybe just because I've got like such a neutral undertone with my skin. It really seems to work nicely. And I think too, like if you ever wanna do like a full blown cool toned look, but you have a lot of warmth in your skin, a way to do that is to add in a warm color just to kind of balance it out and contrast it. And it won't be as dramatic. It's just like one of my favorite things to do. So right now it's gonna look pretty warm, but then it's gonna cool out just a little bit once I add in the next shade. You can go back into that first color, just kind of go over the edges just to diffuse them a little bit. I'm gonna go into Vintage from Makeup Geek. You can see this is a lot more purple. The only shades I use, these three right here. So they look like, this would look typically really good with this shade, and this shade would also look really good with this shade, but I just love putting all three together. I feel like this isn't like your typical combo, but I just think it, it turns out so nice. So I'm gonna pick this up on my brush and pop this right on the outer corner. Because it's cooler, it's going to give more of a shadow so it then appears darker and deeper. And then if you ever go too cool, you can always go in with the warm again just to warm it back up and vice versa. If you go in with too much warm, you can go in with the cool and cool it down. It's totally customizable to whatever you're wanting with your look. I'm also gonna bring that underneath. And then for me, that went just a little bit more cool than I want, so I'm just gonna go back into the cheetah bear and just tap over it to bring in the warmth. So yeah, that just kind of like Mm, so pretty, such a pretty color combo. And that's pretty much that for the eye look. I'll actually really quickly just take this first shade, creme brulee, and just lightly dust it on the inner lid just to kind of brighten that back up again. Other than that, that's pretty much the eyeshadow. Just those three colors. And I did go a little bit smokier today. I can definitely tone this down and go a little bit more natural. But today I just wanted to have fun and use the shades. And this is still to me like an everyday look. I'm not gonna go in with lashes or anything. I'm just gonna keep it plain with mascara. But feel free to add lashes if you want. I'm gonna hop over into my face highlighter with my ring finger and really tap that there on the inner corner to brighten that up. I'm gonna use another finger just to soften the edges. Make sure your fingers are clean. You don't wanna go in, like say you messed up and you rubbed your eyeshadow with your pointer finger and it's got like dark shadow on it and then you rub it in your inner corner. You don't want that because it'll darken that up. But I'm also getting the brow bone. You can go in with any liner for your waterline. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Pro Pencil and just whoop. Brighten that up. If you wanted to go a little bit smokier, then you could go in with black or brown in there and it would really smoke this up. I like this because it opens up my eyes. <laughs> I always use a nude liner in there and I just think it makes it a little bit more everyday appropriate or you don't even have to do anything in your waterline. You can just leave it as is, but I think that really nicely contrasts the other shades. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using the Makeup Geek Extension Effect Mascara. You can use my discount on this as well. And I'm going to apply two layers of this to each eye. And then I always put some on the bottom. I just think it really helps to open up the eyes and contrast that liner. I just think it really ties that whole 
look together. Okay, I'm going in with a third layer of mascara. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get clumpy. I feel like this mascara is really nice and buildable and it doesn't end up looking like chunky or anything. I think that looks really good. So time for lipstick. So what am I gonna do? I always switch out whatever nude I'm doing. Of course, I'm always doing a nude. Something light to medium. I kind of stopped doing like really light nudes and I like to stick in the more medium range for my complexion. So oak is a really good go-to for me. So I'm gonna grab oak and start off the look with this. This is what it looks like up close. It's a nice neutral brown. It's not too cool or too warm. So just filled in the bottom. I wanna do the top. And then you can grab any darker color just to deepen it up. Um, I'm using nude 1.5 from KKW. And then I just bring it right here on the cupid's bow, just on the edges. And then in the center, I'm gonna go in with Sierra from Makeup by Mario. I'm gonna start by tapping. Mm, I think I need a little bit more warmth today. I think I'm gonna go into a little bit of Cam, which is just a little bit more orangey. See, it kind of just brings out the peach. Okay, and this is the final look. It's a little bit more dramatic than like a typical everyday look for me, but it's just what I've been gravitating towards lately. I like the simplicity of just doing lashes and having a slightly bolder lip and bolder eyeshadow. Again, like with these shades, I do alter it with the deepness depending on the day. Like sometimes I just won't apply as much just so it goes on a little bit more sheer and not as intense but I do think that this is still a pretty wearable look but yet at the same time it's really glam so I feel like you can also wear this to like a special event or something like that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this look enjoyed me walking you through it step by step please let me know what other looks or videos you'd like to see I feel like we are <laughs> already starting to go into the holiday season. So let me know what you wanna see from me, whether it's makeup related or not. I kind of have my calendar already set, but I can alter things depending on what you guys wanna see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.